Welcome to my little video about creating your own files, um, polar files on OpenCPN. This is OpenCPN version 4.4. It has the plugins um, for polar, also the new um, tactics plugin, and also VDR, Voids Data Reporter plugin, which is over here. This is what's playing. This is where the data is coming from for this little demonstration. All right, it's, um, the data is created by um, going out in your boat and having your instruments and everything feeding into your computer and pushing this little red button here and it records all the data that you can then play back at a later date. That's what I'm doing now. Okay, so for anyone who um, has a boat that has no polar information, it's a very useful thing to have. You can see up here it's saying 88% of polars, okay, 74. Um, you can see I'm just messing around at the moment, but um, it gives you an idea of how well you're sailing the boat. So um, let's go and have a look at how that works. So if we go into polar data, and we can clear all of that, and we can say up here, record data from enemy A. Okay, so now if we go back down to the bottom of this, we should see some numbers coming in. Okay, here we go. You can see it's starting to populate an empty polar file. And what it's doing is working out the wind information and your speeds from your instruments and then filling in the appropriate um, angle and speed. So we've got wind speed across the top here and we've got wind angle on the side. Okay, now because this is a recording, I can actually minimise that and I can speed this up past real time so you can see some data come in a little more quickly than that. There we go. And you'll see the data's coming in. Now the numbers never go down, they only go up because it's not possible to sail a boat faster than it can be sailed. So it's giving you your maximum targets. So you can go out every time you go sailing, you can turn this data recording function on, or you can go um, to a previously recorded file and you can extract the information quite quickly. And what you do there is you go in here and you go data from file, and then you go load, pick one of these recorded files, and it'll suck the data out of that very fast. So we don't need to do that. Okay, so once you've got a file, it will come out. Um, data from file, we can load one. Load one, not even that work. There we go. Okay, so you can see the data, that's the sort of thing that comes in and um, you can fill in the forms. Now you can see there's lots of gaps in this one because it's not complete either, but that's uh, something I'm working on at the moment. So that all works, you can save the files, and then when you're back on this screen here, you can see how efficiently you're sailing. So um, we can see from this screen the, tack, the ley lines off the boat if we tacked onto the other tack. You can see down here, AIS, there's an anchored ship there called Port Kenny, and this is a wind barb. This is showing us the, the true wind speed and direction. Um, so, and the, I, I mentioned before, the blue one is the current. So that's a really basic um, outline of, of um, polars for OpenCPN. Um, within this, you can go into your preferences and you can say on this instrument dashboard, we want any instrument you can think of. So you've got um, actual course made good, you've got air temperature, you've got barometric pressure, You've got um, um, pitch and roll, polar performance, polar speed, um, everything. So you've got target VMGs uh, to give you an idea of, um, how, again, how well you're sailing the boat. So all of that can be added on to the system very easily. Um, but this little video was just to show you how to get the numbers in your boat so that you've got a polar speed here um, to aim at and uh, useful polars for your racing. Thanks very much for listening. I hope that was useful for some of you. Cheers.